There's an old wives tale that says if the bees die, the beekeeper dies. And since we're seeing so many bees dying on the planet, it really, we have to understand that, that it's affecting us. What is happening to the bee is happening to humanity. Not only are we having colony collapse disorder for the bee, we're having colony collapse disorder for humanity. To me, bees, we call them, you know, indicator species. They show us the state of our environment. They show us the state of the planet. And they are the first to be touched when things are collapsing. So I really hope that we can listen to them, listen to the bigger message behind it, and understand that it's about our survival at the end of the day. They are serving us right now. Humans really came to our current state of population and technology and all the kinds of medical and intellectual discoveries because of a very special thing that happened in uh, human culture about 7,000 years ago, which was the introduction of apiculture. So apiculture is the study of the bee. When we brought beehives into our agriculture, we just exploded like 40% increase in agricultural production when we introduce honeybees into an environment. One of the interesting things when you get bees is that you realize that your veggie garden and your fruit trees bear more fruits and more veggies. There's some more correlation by the bees being around and the trees and the plants being more happy and producing more fruits and veggies. I'm making the bees happy and they're giving me more and they're doing that in complete harmony. I was an accountant. My husband's a low voltage technician. We've managed to learn how to be tropical climate farmers over the past year. One of the most amazing parts of my journey here in Puerto Rico has been becoming a beekeeper here. If you have bees to pollinate your coffee field, you can increase your yield by up to 10%. Bees increase your yield, which increases your bottom line, and it just makes business sense. When you get in the modern world, you are going to have this fight between modernization and antiquity. We live better with nature, and we feed better with nature. We cure better with nature to feed our children and to put food in our table. Let's depend on nature. Bees teach us how to interact with the world, how to recognize the world. And when I look at the beehives, I see a meditating monk or nun that focuses and sings the song of creation. And so when I look at the beehive, I don't look at a product, I don't look at an animal, I look at a sacred and divine emissary of nature. If we can relate humans and bees, then I think that we can see ourselves more as a collective. And I feel like if the artists could see bees and live with bees and understand the bees' energetic principles, I think it might even really influence our own understanding of our consciousness. We need to uh, plant flowers in our gardens and we need to uh, buy local organic honey from our uh, local farmers and not buy honey that's coming from very far away and we don't know what's right in the honey. So there's a lot of things we can do even if we don't keep bees to help change the fate of the bees and our fate. When my father died, I was met with this existential question. Here's this brilliant man that's done so much for the world and now he's gone. And I found myself nose to nose with the void. And at that moment, I realized that nothing at all mattered. It was an existential crisis meeting death in that way. And my arms flew up to protect those I loved behind me, my son and my other children. And I realized that the rest of my life, the only thing I could do would be to follow my deep heart vision. And I realized that if nothing matters, then I can create the world in whatever fashion I so desire. And my desire is to walk a beauty path back to Eden, to bring bees up again, to bring our consciousness of nature up again so that we can relate to nature in a natural native way. This is our birthright. This is our family. Nature is our family. And it is hopefully our dream to be able to return to an interactive consciousness again with nature. I believe that is the basis of all spiritual traditions. That is the thing that we are calling for. That's what keeps us alive in the face of knowing that death is coming.